Hi everyone, Ted Wood here. I uh, coach real estate investing, and that's what this uh, session is all about. Kind of show you a little bit, introduce myself a little bit, show you why I'm here, what's happening in the industry, that kind of thing. Start off with the uh, November 5th, 2019, the Federal Trade Commission decided to shut down a number of companies that are in the real estate seminar, real estate training business, including my company, who I had worked with for almost going on five years. And, you know, that's the end of that, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, what happens to Coach Ted Wood? Well, you know, don't shoot me. I'm just the piano player, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, this is an interesting picture because it's George Blind, who is a member of the French Resistance. And the Germans were trying to get information from him about what was going on towards the end of the war. So they put him up against the wall. And I think he knew they weren't going to shoot him, nor did they. So hopefully I won't get shot either. That's uh, the bottom line. And I think when you see what we're talking about here, you'll see why I've got uh, good reason to uh, have faith in that. Okay, uh, you know, the Federal Trade Commission shut down uh, response, but, you know, what if Judge Judy were handling the case? Could you see Judge Judy? What? You never made any offers or called the all-you-can-eat training line? And that's the truth. Uh, there were a number of students complaining that the program didn't work for them, and uh, there were a number of students who didn't work for the program either. And so that's one of the things uh, that my commitment to you is you work with me, I'll work with you until the last man is out. We'll get into that later. All right. Part of the reason that their programs were so expensive is it really costs a lot of money to market uh, a city by city event to get people interested in real estate uh, coaching, learning how to uh, make money in real estate. Let's look at something else. Back in 1950, there were nearly 2 million people that lived in Detroit. The population in 2018 was less than 700,000. A lot of the real estate companies, including the one I worked for, sold properties to anybody who would buy them in Detroit, thinking that they were going to be great rental investment properties. And it's kind of sad because the real success that you're going to make in, in owning real estate uh, rental properties is to find properties in areas where there are more people who want to rent than there are places to rent. That was not the case in Detroit. To this day, it's not the case in Detroit. Now, there's some pockets, some areas in Detroit where you can do okay. And if you know what you're doing, you can, you know, there you go. All right. Now, Response bought properties in bulk. Due diligence, did they do all the due diligence? You'd have to tell me. Uh, they sold it twice what they, whatever they paid for it, they sold it at double. Uh, too many people bought lemon properties that were not really rent worthy. And some of the property managers were not honest. This is where, in my experience, you want to be very careful because if you're in an area where the business isn't good, the people who are in the business aren't going to be very good either. That's just as a rule of thumb. Think about it. These property managers want to feed their family. The money comes to them first. You may never see it. That's just the way it is. So you're better off finding areas where where the everybody, it's a win-win situation for everyone. And that's what I do is try and help you with that. Okay? These are a few of the different gurus that I worked for. What's interesting about it is that, you know, you you um, go to an event and up on stage is uh, T. Harvecker, uh, Doug Clark, Dean Graciosi, uh Armando Montalongo, uh, Robert Allen, you know, the uh, Scott Namey, uh, those kind of people, all right? So... When, when you see that situation and you think you buy the coaching, you don't get them. 
you get someone like me or either me or another coach like me and um that's that's what you get and so the uh other thing i wanted to go over i have on the internet 25 different uh videos on students of mine who've done deals where they explain to you what they did how they did it and how you could do it too in many ways so th those are videos worth watching they're available for you, you you're going to find you get more for me for free than you do in many cases from these other outfits paying a lot of money to them okay this is another thing that i have that a lot of other people don't have is comprehensive analytical tools such as uh we call the um, wholesalers or rehabbers quick bid and this shows you how to figure out what to bid on a property very quickly very easily and with no stress no pressure no strain all right uh, that's available all right the next is uh talk with you a little bit about uh myself and the coaching that i did uh, in working for response they had 24 coaches doing what I did. And of the 24, the second coach behind me, I did half again as many deals as that person. And way more deals than most of the coaches there. So when I say deals, my students did the deals. But I worked with them so that they got deals done. And uh, I'm proud to say that a lot of people say, well, Ted cares about his students. And yes, I do. And I'm proud of that. And so um, watch the videos, see what you think there. Um, go on to the next uh, slide. This is another form I have. This one here shows a, a rental property analysis form. I have a newer version of that form that gives the IRR. And that's interesting that no one ever talks about the IRR. That's the internal rate of return. The cap rate tells you, as you see there in black, white on black, it tells you what is the rate of return in one year as it relates to the uh, net operating income in relation to what you paid for the property. The IRR, or internal rate of return, shows the relationship between how much money you made and how much money you spent uh, over a period of time could be five years, 10 years, 20 years. I don't know. It's that's whatever you're you're working on. That form will now give you an internal rate of return. So it's easy to analyze a property, a rental property, not just right now. How does it look? But how's it going to look? What, what's going on at the end? Because there's way, way more money than you can imagine to be made in having a property that uh, appreciates. Sometimes the appreciation can be phenomenal. And whereas rents, you can only raise them so much. And uh, if you raise them too much, you run a risk that you're not going to get a tenant. Um, cash on cash return, again, that's, uh, that, that's on just an annualized basis. How much money did you spend to get into the property? And what is your rate of return versus your expenses, which include uh, uh, having to pay a mortgage if you have one? All right. Debt service coverage ratio is what the banks are looking for. They're looking for you to have at least a 1.25 debt service coverage ratio. That means that what you're bringing in, uh, you're bringing in a uh, dollar and 25 cents for every dollar you have to pay in a mortgage. And you have to understand the numbers to make money in real estate. And I believe in as simple a way as possible, uh, I can help you in that regard. Okay. The uh, other thing is we're going to have some, you know, this is what our program is going to include for you is eight one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions where I call you or another coach if I'm working with or you're working with another coach because not everybody wants to work with me. Some people want to work with, uh, you know, uh, some, uh, you know, a nice looking woman or something. I've got coaches, lady coaches that are, you know, not only good looking, but uh, really understand real estate. All right. The coaching is all you can eat. Now, I'm only going to call you eight times, but you can call, you can text me, you can call me, you can uh, 
uh, email me and I will get back with you with an answer. Depending on how busy I am, I could, it could be very fast or it could take, it should not take more than 24 hours ever. All right. And if it's something that's an emergency, you need an answer right away. You need to say so, so that I can get on. Okay. Materials that are there, you're going to get the analysis spreads, the rehabbers quick bid, the rental analysis IRR form. And I'm here to help you make money by holding your feet to the fire. The biggest reason that people don't make money in real estate is they don't do what they need to do to make money in real estate. And I can help you there. And as someone who cares about you, but wants you to make sure that you are, in a sense, holding your feet to the fire. Now let's talk about prices, because I'm not very good at math. All right, I'm gonna confess that to you now. So I, I, I know that the other programs cost from twenty-five to sixty thousand dollars, and they're always calling you, trying to get you to spend more money. Then they try to get you to get more credit cards, and they even help you to do that. You think you're getting those credit cards, so you'll have money for your investing, and they're asking you to give them that money to get more training. Well, twenty-five to sixty thousand. My program, the entire program, is $2,500. I'm not good at math, as I said, so you tell me which one makes more sense financially. Uh, this is what theirs includes, is coaching sessions that are 20 to 30 minutes long. Uh, our coaching sessions are 45 minutes to an hour. I have that down at the bottom here, whereas it should be up there, but it's 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, the terms are available on the $2,500. There's no coach on call on their program. What I mean by coach on call is a uh, way where you call in and there's a coach there. You call a number, which there may be other students on there, but a lot of times you can listen to what their questions they're asking and learn a lot. And if you have a question or something you want to get, get covered, we'll stick around until it does get covered. Okay. Uh, ineffective deal analysis there's because they're not looking at the long term they're looking at things from a short-term perspective and uh, ours includes really uh, not just comprehensive deal analysis but we do uh, outbound calls with you for training purposes what I mean by that is we'll call agents with you so you can see how you can work an agent We'll call um, sellers so you can learn how to work a seller. Title companies, all of that stuff. We can make those calls with you so you can see how we do it and then we'll see how you do it and that way you'll learn a lot better, a lot faster. Uh, arm's length coaching, and that is the truth of it for uh, most companies you'll see. The, the coaching is very arm's length. They, they not sticking around with you. You're there for the weekly session and then see you later, you know, that kind of thing. Well, that's not going to be the way you're treated here. Uh, just what offer to make is what they teach you. Almost never teach you how to make an offer, how to do a proposal so that you get the deal, so that you get the funding, so that you get what you're looking for. Well, that's our program in a nutshell. That's what we have. That's all we have. And that's it. And uh, happy to visit with you about that. My email address is at the bottom. You just send me an email. I'll get back with you. Like I said, give me your phone number. I'll call you. Uh, send you an email. If you don't give me the phone number, however you want to do it. God bless you. Appreciate you. Look forward to working with you if that's at all possible. Thank you so much.